The Fiat 500, what was once a very pretty and iconic Italian hatchback from the 50s, has now unfortunately evolved into a middle class mobile beauty salon driven by people who like to sunbathe a lot. What we have here today is the 2016 model with the facelift. Although it's not as pretty as the original Fiat 500, it still has its similar characteristics. The shape of this car is very reminiscent to the original. It's still got that very rounded silhouette and it's very pug-like face. In fact, it's the same with the engine. It's got a small 1.2 litre petrol engine which produces some horsepower. It's also got some similarities in the interior too. Obviously it's a bit more modernized, but still very minimal. You get a few standard features like radio, Bluetooth and voice control, and that's about it. So the 2016 model holds up pretty well to the original, apart from it being the size of a five bedroom house in Surrey. But what's it like to live with? Now first of all, let's talk about how this thing drives. Now straight away, it's not a particularly big chore to drive this thing compared to the original, but at the same time it does lack the character the original one had as well. It's quite boring. Now it's not particularly fast either, as you'd imagine. Um, it's more sort of set up for the town and city driving, which is perfectly fine because it is more than good in this style of driving anyway. Now if you want to get the most out of this, you really do have to drive it like a European. And that means redlining it every single gear. Now the visibility isn't the best to be quite honest, but that doesn't really bother the owners because they're more preoccupied with other things. Oh look, I've got a text. So, driving then, no good. What about practicality? I'm speaking to you now from a pair of fake Ray-Bans carrying a fake Louis Vuitton bag in which we find some fake makeup accessories. And if we consult my fake iPhone, we can see it's 20 to three, probably, which means it's time to pop into the fake Starbucks over there for a cup of fake coffee. So as you can see, I put my fake handbag on the passenger seat along with the hairdryer and my very nice sparkly purse. I put my makeup in my lap because well, that's where it usually goes and my fake coffee in the many cup holders the car offers. And finally the iPhone in between the steering wheel and the dials. That's successful then. I was also rather impressed with the interior mirror. Now the mirrors in this car are actually quite good. I mean, you can see quite a lot. And I think the only thing I can really see the use of them for is the makeup, of course. Oh wait, I should have done that while I was driving. Shit. Next, it was time to test the business of parking. Now, this is still a pretty small car, so it should be quite easy to park. And I'm not testing it in a middle-class housing estate, as you might expect it to be. Um, instead, I'm going to try it at a, well, multi-storey car park. And if you think uh, 3500 drivers are, well, incompetent as it is, they've actually got a button here, where which, when you press, makes the steering lighter. Wow, that is light. <laughs> And it should be, well, an absolute breeze to part, which it is. I think that's part of that test. So, is there anything I actually like about it? Yes, in fact, the ride is rather smooth. It's got pretty soft suspension. The seats are pretty comfortable. They're a nice leather and there's decent room in the back. In fact, it's also got a sunroof, which I rather like because it's 
you know, means you can get a tan in the week whilst driving to work. So there we are, that's the 2016 Fiat 500 and what it's like living with it. If you did enjoy this video then make sure you like and subscribe to us on the channel and obviously follow us on all social medias. Right, back to Starbucks. Oh, it's got a race mode. Turn that little light out. <laughs> Where? Um, good question. <laughs> I think it's just on, isn't it? Oh, is it gone off? It's yeah, gone yeah. Off oh, now it's gone off. <laughs> <laughs> Hold, please, for the light. <laughs>